Hello, party people. Uh, happy 2017. I know we're like midway through January, but I decided to kick off 2017 on my channel with a trend forecasting video. So I've seen a ton of videos on trends we should leave in 2016 and that sort. So I thought I would give a more positive take and do trends that we should have in 2017. I watch a ton of runway shows, like trying to predict like the new trends that are gonna be happening. So this is my tentative prediction on the top set trends that are gonna be big for the spring and summer of 2017. Also, it's snowing where I live, so spring, where are you at? The first category that we are going to be talking about are patterns and prints. So for 2017, the first print I'm predicting will be super big are stripes. Um, I'm talking pinstripes, mostly blue and white, horizontal. I've seen some sites like Vogue call them banker stripes. They're supposed to be kind of like a take on like a businessman button down. You're gonna see this in like off the shoulder styles, um, with shoulder cutouts, um, in actual button downs, on dresses, shorts, skirts, pretty much everywhere. And then I also think there'll be a lot of horizontal stripes, which you can see in like, for instance, Urban Outfitters, like sweater knit dresses. The second biggest print that I saw on runways is not really original, it makes me wanna roll my eyes, but it was really prevalent, so it's florals. So florals are not really necessarily original, but colors such as like pastel pink and yellow and just some bright florals. I think we could mix, you know, some small floral prints and some larger ones. And the third pattern that I think will really be big is some cute fruits and polka dots. So definitely some polka dots, but also little like fruit patterns, like little peaches, pineapples, and watermelon. I'd see that mostly like in phone cases and like wallets, but also like on purses and maybe shoes, like vans, checkered print, and just, you know, a lot of different patterns. I think that patterns are fun and fresh. The second big trend that I think we'll see in the spring and summer of 2017 is That's So 70s. So basically, 2016 summer was ruled by the 90s. I'm talking like mom jeans, white t-shirts, Adidas, oh my God, Adidas were everywhere. And while that's not going anywhere because that's just so easy to style, I can really picture that the 70s are gonna be taking over even more and maybe pairing with some of the 90s styles to create its own genre. So you're gonna see a lot of bell bottoms, like patterned bell bottoms. I think a lot of crochet crocheted crop tops, crocheted styled bralettes, especially at music festivals. And speaking of music festivals, I think we're gonna be seeing a lot of fringe, like fringed belts and fringed vests and fringe on skirts in leather and suede. Suede was a huge fabric in the 70s. And while I think suede kind of lends itself more towards fall, I think in the early spring and the summer, we will be seeing some suede. Band t-shirts will be expressing more 70s bands like Late Beatles, Grateful Dead, David Bowie, stuff of that sorts. Um, and also like John Lennon inspired circular glasses, both prescription and non-prescription. Definitely, I think clogs will be a 70s comeback. Spring and summer this year are also gonna be all about the sleeves. So statement sleeves and different types of ruffles adorning clothing. So I think there'll be a lot of ruffles adorning the bottoms of shirts and dresses. And I also think that there's gonna be a lot of different types of wrap tops with tiered sleeves and the cold shoulder that was popularized in sweaters this fall and winter will continue to be on a lot of different t-shirts and I think different necklines with the crisscross and stuff like that will also remain quite large in 2017. 
This next trend is already hitting it huge. It started hitting right at the end of 2016 and it's embroidery. Embroidery is everywhere. Like you have to live under a rock not to have seen this trend. I'm talking like it's on jeans, jean jackets, bomber jackets, t-shirts, shoes, especially vans. Um, literally it's everywhere. It's on button downs. And the biggest like motifs that I've seen um, like embroidered are roses, which have been like paired with a lot of black denim. And then also there's like a lot of monarch butterflies. And then there's like a lot of those army styled patches on jackets. So I guess there's two different types of embroidery you could really break it on, break it down to. There's patches, like embroidered patches and like stuff on jackets and pants. And then there's also more of like actual embroidery, like the whole back of a jacket or the whole front of a shirt is embroidered. And again, you'll see like that paired with a lot of floral. And I've also seen a lot of floral embroidered on the front of like blue and white pinstriped shirts. So a lot of these trends you'll really see overlapping. As far as shoes go, uh, I definitely think that those slip-on sneakers will stay at large. And then I also saw a recent rise in Oxfords and particularly platform shoes, such as like the platform Oxfords by Stella McCartney, which have like the treaded sole, which I think other companies will begin to adapt and just Oxford style in general. I think that since Oxfords are a little preppy and that uh, the button down shirts that like a lot of people are wearing with like, the pinstripes are also kind of preppy. People like to pair those together and then, you know, make it a little more edgy with jewelry and ripped jeans. So I think those two kind of go hand in hand. I also think Esperaldas will stay really large, like really popular and uh, lace up sandals, which were also pretty popular in 2016, like the Aztec sandals. The next few trends I'm just gonna bullet point because I don't really have like a lot to say on that. So first I'm gonna have jumpsuits and rompers. I think that'll be really popular. It's you know the perfect piece. You can just put it on and you have a whole outfit. You just need shoes, maybe a little jacket. Uh, secondly, the sailor look, which I think again goes back to the stripes, but uh, like you know, reds, blues, red, white, and blues, those high-waisted shorts with the buttons, suspenders, just like that whole little sailor vibe. I think that was also kind of popular in 2012, so that brings me to my next thing. I think the early 2000s are coming back with like hoop earrings, bubblegum pink lipstick, stuff like that. Speaking of pink, I also think pastel pink will reign in 2017. Bralette tops, like people are making such pretty bralettes that girls just want them to be shown. Like not even in like a presumptuous way, they just want to show off how pretty their bralettes are. So I mentioned this earlier, but I think like layering bralettes, like that will be a huge look. Also, body chains. Definitely like those chain bras, which sounds a little weird, but when you see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. The pattern of flames on the bottom of jeans, exposed hems on clothing. What you guys thought of this video? Do you agree, disagree with my trend prediction? What do you think will be the biggest trend of 2017 spring and summer? Feel free to leave it down below. Have a fantastic day. Mwah.